Howdy Cowboys, so welcome to our off of script mission with Zenova, okay, so again, we go all completely off of script and I just want to answer a question I received, it was that if I can explain a little bit better how to repair STL files using Zenova, so my first advice, please do use a proper cat okay so here i'm showing you on shake can be any proper proper cat i don't work for on shake by the way but i i love the technology behind so let me show you with that uh, same geometry that we have used how to do some basic fixing of this stl file so let me look my geometry i have it here now these are all cases so let me open the clean geometry, okay? So see that you have the angle, all the stuff that we, we talked in the previous video. So let's say that, okay? So here it might, it tries to, to reconstruct the topology, everything, but it might happen that sometimes you, you don't capture some features. In this case, it worked fine, perfect. So let's work with this one. So see that we have an STL, okay? Which we now have a, a specific triangulation. So just to show you, uh, let me convert it here. So as you go to mesh, you have a geometry, you have the topology, but you want to see the actual mesh. You see here geometry to mesh. Okay, convert that geometry to mesh. So this is the actual STL mesh. This is nasty, this is bad, okay? So I don't recommend you use that. But let's use this one to do another mesh and I want to save that mesh, okay? So it's a useless step now, but just to show you how to do the, the repair the geometry. So recall always, let's do the zero one. Let's do everything with zero one. I just want to do the surface mesh and the topology base is okay here. Okay, so this is what we have. This is a surface mesh that we can go and do our volume mesh and, and everything. But remember here, you can save this surface mesh. You can save it as an STL, export it, and you can reread it and you already have the surface mesh. So just to point out, I know many people that use commercial software just to generate these surface meshes and then they move in an, into another tool. So the same thing, just to point, to, to, to mention one, Fluent meshing and it starts to the end. So many people use, for instance, Beta Chi. They create beautiful meshes, surface meshes, and then they move that surface mesh into starts to the end or uh, ANSYS Fluent, and then from that surface mesh they grow their 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 volume mesh. Okay, they do that. I don't know why, but I know many people that does that. So let's export this surface mesh. See, see, see that we're in the meshing and I only need to click there, export STL and let me call it test one. So there you go. This is how you export your STL. So put it there. If I open there, I will use, it will open using mesh mixer, which is a nice STL manipulation tool and wireframe. And there you go. Okay. So recall the original one was not so nice this one now a proper Delanoi triangulation okay so now let's do another step so let's say that you can open that geometry here so you save it and see that now when you look at this surface see that you see the triangulation okay so you are recovering the topology it might happen that you don't capture some features i don't know and look at what happens if I capture now feature edges, okay? So if I go here, create feature edges, and let me put a value of 10, and see that it start to also capture the topology, the edges that are within the triangulation. Okay, so you might need this, you might not, it's up to you, okay? But this is what happens. So let me close here, so now I hope you know what is happening. And let's say that you are in this one, and then you want to reuse this geometry, this triangulation as the geometry. So we saw first that you can read the geometry, convert it to the triangulation using this one, but also you can say, and then also you can export your triangulation here, or you can say, convert this, this mesh back into the geometry. Recall that the original geometry is that, that one was the nasty meshing, okay? The STL. 
and I want to use this triangulation. So basically what you do is this one and it will just convert it back here. So it will be like a control C, control V between the actions. Okay. So this is how you do this, this manipulation here, but we, ha we haven't done anything just showing you these options here to go into proper repairing measure. So let's say that now we have this. Okay. And let me now move this one because here I don't have any more the mesh. Okay. I can open the other, but let's move this geometry into mesh and let's manipulate this. So let's say that I want to click in this face, this face, this face, this face, this face, this, this, and remove everything. So you should have key. Okay. Press del key. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Delete select there and see that now we have a hole. Okay. So this is, and let me put it there, export STL and let me call it hole one. Okay. And let me go back and reopen that using another tool and see that. Let me rotate. There you go. There you have the hole. So let's say properly, this is an STL, a dirty STL with a hole. So imagine that you receive this STL. I do a lot. Remember, I don't like to work with STL, but many people just send me this STL and I need to do some, some basic uh, modification and try to fix stuff. So, so here you have all your manipulations tools. So what we need to do is close this hole. So we need to select edges here. So you can here you have the selection. I would press the E key for edges or you have the chain tool here and it will chain chain select everything. So you select the address and then you can close the hole there or right click and you will have, so I will select here, fill each hole separately. And there you go. You repair your nasty STL and you can go on and instead forward. So let's say that you have this triangulation that means that faces now. And let's say that you prefer to split this edge in half to follow this. So you can select this edge here and see that you have some other options. So for instance, I can swap the edge. I can select it again. I can split it and see that you manipulate your mesh like that. And see that this one is not following. It's a little bit flat. No, it's not following with uh, like the topology of the surface. So you can select these faces manually and then grow selection another one and you can smooth your mesh there let's see what happens and see that it's smooth and it tried to match the curvature of the surface of your underlying topology you can also go and let me grow again and uh, let me see you use remesh remesh will try to mesh there to get something better and see that now much better it did something, but I don't know if it's much better. It looks better. That is the, the visual criterion that it is nice to the eye. So let me select there, or probably you can split mesh and see that. And this is how you can manipulate meshes, repair meshes, STL, surface triangulation. Okay. You have many options there. So be aware all these options. You can do a lot of stuff. So this is the basic sense that I do, and then you can export it and there you go. You will have a, uh, you fix that hole. So for instance, if I want now to use this one as my input geometry, let me move it back mesh to geometry. You can close this one and off you go. So see that. Oh, okay. Okay. What is interesting? Okay. You still can select the faces. It will split the topology. You have everything, but here you don't have that feature edge. You can, can hear. So this always click, you have the selection. So you can, let's say, I like to say you can smell the color and see the noise. Okay. So where do you have there? Put there. And well, didn't capture the edges. You need to use a lower value, but I know if I use a lower value, we'll also capture some other features that I don't know, but just to show you, so let me put 10 probably will crash. I don't know. Okay. See that is capturing a whole bunch of features that I really don't need. 
and it's separating everything. So actually it's separated, but see that you have everything. So this is how you do this basic uh, manipulation. So just this case get familiar, but just to show you something a little bit more complicated. So let me open another geometry. Mm -mm -mm. I should have it here, here, and I think it's this one. So this glider, okay, so let me change the color. So let me go here, change the color, set color, what? Set color, this. So we have this, and let me put some transparency. It's a nice one, okay, but it has, it seems a smooth geometry, but it has many problems. Now you have holes, so see here that we have a hole here. So probably we see that, or we smell that color better. If I go here, okay, I deselect the transparency and now I can smell the color. <laughs> okay, so I see that you'll have that hole there. I'm just kidding about the smell stuff now. And see here that you have cell intersecting stuff and transparency. See that, boom, bam, 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 let me see it here, that this is intersecting there, okay, that can give you a problem. See that this edge. It's a split in multiple many nodes there. This geometry also is horrible here. You have also surfaces with a lot of curvature, cell intersecting. Here also you have cell intersecting and many, many small errors that if you use the topology based method, it's going to give you a lot of problems, but you can do it. But let's say that I want to close this hole here. Okay, so again, let me go select the geometry and you want to see what is this mesh? So see that this is how your mesh looks like. Okay, the STL. But I want to remain at the geometry level because I want just to close this hole. So see that you have many options to repair the, your geometry. Okay, so let me select edges, this one and this one. Right click, um, for instance, split edges at intersection. See that split, split. I'm proud of you see where I am going with this it's split. And now see that you can select this and now create face from edges. And there you go. You fix your dirty STL, okay, by closing that face. It's not perfect, but you fix it. So now you want to save this as an, as an STL. Okay, so remember this is a geometry, but here you right click, you cannot save it as an STL. You need to convert it to a triangulation. So you go here, always in mesh geometry to mesh now see that what it's doing adding that face trying to match everything so it did a very a pretty decent job and now right click here and export stl and let me call it test which So this is a lot of manual work. So sometimes I get dirty geometries and yeah, you need to go there and click here, there, and it can be repaired. Okay. So in this case, it was relative, relatively easy. So see that now, and also I can see here that, or I can smell here that the normals are not oriented in the right way. So if I go here, uh, uh, okay. Well, you get the idea, the hole is closer. Okay. So now let's go on and step forward. So you can create a hole and whatever, and you know, we, you fix it like in the previous case. But something interesting here as well, that now I am in the meshing tool. So if I go back to the geometry, see that this surface, it is intersecting the other. So repairing this here in the geometry level is a little bit tricky. So you say select this one, I select this one, and I try to intersect surfaces. Might, might not work. So see that it's not working. It cannot, cannot find out about it topology. So it's a little bit tricky here, but we can do that fixing. We can fix that at the geometry level. Okay, so remember that that is self intersecting there. So as, uh, sorry, at the mesh level. So now at the mesh, I can see my mesh. Okay. Let me put there. And basically let's try to fix this. Okay. So how can we fix? So the fix 
can be something similar to the previous one that you can intersect X, whatever. That is super tricky. So here there is another option, for instance. You can select that face, select this face, and see that when you go here, you have this option, intersect mesh. Intersect that face with this one, and there you go. You fix that problem. And then you need to go to do that with everything now. So, but for instance, I can go here and let me grow my selection. Okay, to select everything, try to intersect everything there, there. And let me go here. And there you go, intersect everything in this size. Sometimes it, it, it does everything here as well. Yeah, it also, I think, intersected everything. So it's your recall the original geometry. Okay, and let me switch off here. Okay, see that it is self-intersecting and I don't capture that feature here. Here there is a feature edge that I cannot capture okay, because I, I, I cannot compute that intersection here. But here, what we did here in the mesh is just compute that intersection. So now I intersected the cells and I should should be able to see that intersection there. So what I will do now is that I can save this STL, reopen, or let me move this STL that I just manipulate mesh to geometry. Okay, I don't need this, this or, there is nothing there, so let me go there. So now I move it and see that if I right left click, see that now I have that intersection there. I think, so let me see. Okay, no, 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 Okay, so here it tried to compute those edges here. That inter, yeah, it tried, it didn't work. Okay, so let me go back. Okay, so, bada, 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 bada. Geometry to mesh. Okay, so let me go transparency here. Okay, so I intersected everything. Okay. So yeah, at the level here, it managed to compute everything, yes. Faces. So see that it split it, it split it everything here, so it did a good job. It's splitting everything, so perfect, it worked. But it didn't erase, so basically what, what you can do is erase the internal part, so that will be a little bit, let me, you can start to hide faces, so, da -da, so that, let me go here, and let me, let me grow this. So faces, you have here, hi, ba da ba ba. And let me, Switch off. Okay, so let me go here. Phase. Okay, I have also geometry. Okay, let me grow, grow, bam, 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 bam. Okay. Okay, for some reason I cannot hide. Okay, now, okay, I know for some reason. Didn't work, but say that now you triangulate there and let me go here. Not too much, whoop, too much. So you can start to raise everything there. Uh, uh. That's a little bit tricky, but you get the point. You start to select everything inside, erase those cells that has been properly intersected, and there you go, problem solved. Then you export it as a STL, 
and you have fixed your geometry so let me go let me see because here maybe I think I should be able to capture that there I don't know why let me put here 15 oh there you go see that you have there it was there okay but I have to, to, to compute the feature edge okay but see that you have it there okay so now that you have that you can adapt better to that line or probably you can split that surface with let's see that probably if it work okay this and this and this one and let's see if I can split these faces with this edge now it doesn't work so it's not close this one so see that it's a little bit it's super tricky you know this one is it's quite complex but see that we have repaired everything we have the manipulation so this is a little bit a little bit no a lot of patience okay to fix everything but it can be done okay so let me go and get an idea of the dimension so let's do the meshing so it will be just the surface meshing then see what you can create your external volume or internal volume whatever depending of whatever you want to do so surface here I go here okay to large so probably 0 0.2 okay I go here you can also use the topology but see that it's very it's very dirty so it will be a little bit problematic or probably will take too long because it will try to resolve all those features so here the most efficient one will be this this method so see that it solves everything though sometimes here also i don't have the external domain so i change their external to get my my geometry there so these are a few things that you need to know a little bit how to use it but it's not a big deal so you put your outer box it, it will work so so here I'm just forcing to do my mesh outside of the body. Okay, see that you have it there. Perfect. And you can rear triangulate there. Sometimes this can be time consuming. In this case, it will be a little bit time consuming. But see that from something dirty, we managed to get now something much better than the starting point. And here, as we have the feature, see that now this initial mesh perfectly match that feature, and then the triangulation will try to smooth out everything there. And there you go. Perfect, beautiful. And to show you, let me reopen one. Okay, and let me go and do. Uh, I put there 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, and do only the surface and use this. So, all the previous problem of we can fix it like in the previous case so here we still have the original geometry we have the hole okay but see that now here you are not forcing the mesh to follow the features okay even there, uh, put there. and also you, you have you still have the hole here so probably yeah you have it there so now we're closing that hole so let me go here And there you go, we have the geometry. Try to, to add that there, but we didn't have that edge. And see that here we, there are some issues with the mesh self-intersecting. Okay. Okay, so this is how you can do some basic mesh manipulation. Well, not basic, this can be really advanced, you no. Know? So you have many options, volume meshes, you can even move nodes, you have the option that, that is crazy. 
Okay, but yeah, you can do all, all that stuff. So I hope I clarify that question about repairing STLs and even your mesh surface mesh apply for the STL if they are using the STL as an input geometry or to repair the surface mesh. By the way, to make it clear now, the original geometry, I forgot to show you this, let me put some, some transparency. See that we don't have that intersection there. So if you go here, create feature edges, and put, I know, 10. See that it doesn't compute that intersection here, okay? Instead, recall that in the previous case, in this one, when we did the mesh, okay, all the meshing, we intersected the cells, the information was there, but then after we run the, in the geometry, the intersect, the create feature edges, we managed to, to capture so if we put there, well, you already have it there, but we managed to capture this edge there. Okay, so it actually it intersected, but now, well, it's difficult to do the complete operation of splitting with this edge. Okay, there are some missing, it's not totally close, but you have that information there that for the topology, it can improve a lot, okay? So yeah, just to clarify that, okay? See the difference? between both operations. So feel free to play around with those cases. So MacBase is just get surface meshes, play around. The same stuff will, will work with volume and manipulation. So you can get a, an idea. Try to do it with, with something easy, by the way. Yeah, okay, that's all. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.